So what exactly is this? This is an original Nepalese Bira gun. I can honestly say I've never actually seen one of these, but it's pretty amazing. I think there are probably less than 25 around. All right. It was handmade in Nepal, primarily because the British would not give the Nepalese fast, rapid-firing guns at that time. What does it shoot? This shoots very old 577 450 Martini Henry. Do you know when this thing was made? So I think this was made in 1896 or 1897. Does it work? I've been told it works. Do you mind if I crank it? Go right ahead. Looks like it works. And how much do you want for it? I am asking $30,000. $30,000. Well, that is a figure I have no idea on. Let me call up a friend. Let me get him down here. I just want him to look at this thing, confirm it's old enough for me to buy it, OK? Because if this thing is you know, post 1899 or newer, I'm not going to deal in it, because then we have to start doing federal paperwork and everything like that. This beer gun is so rare, I don't think I'll see another one in my lifetime. So it would be great to see this thing in action. But I have to be 100% sure when it was made. So I called in the guy with all the answers, Mark Hall Patton. This is nice, a Bira. It was named for the king of Nepal. It's a Nepalese gun. It's actually developed by a general, Gehendra Shamshur Jang Bahadur Rana. How and in the hell could you ever remember that? <laughs> I can remember that sort of thing. But what happened was, at the, in the late 19th century, Nepal wanted a machine gun. England actually ended up being the first country to recognize Nepal as a separate country. And so Nepal ended up being an ally of England. They ended up giving them a couple of million rounds of Martini Henry 577 450 cartridges. They were terrible rounds. So what do you do with them? If they don't work well, you give them to Nepal. And Nepal said, well, we got to do something with them. And General Gehendra developed this. So this was definitely made in 1896 or 97. If it's after 1898, I can't buy it legally. Yes, they were only made in 1896 and 1897. All right. Are you planning on shooting this? Yeah. We're going to take out the firing range in the morning and meet up with Alex. Do you want to come? Yeah. You mind? Sure. Yeah, no problem. Oh, I'd love to see this thing shot. Yeah. Look at this. The beer gun. So here's what the beer gun is. The Nepalese, a man named Gehendra, was able to smuggle in an American Gardner gun out of England into Nepal, and he attempted to reverse engineer the American Gardner gun and it became the beer gun, but he made some radical changes. I mean, the most notable change is that pan magazine. Now, this pan magazine holds 120 rounds of this ammunition, which I brought today. This is a Martini Henry ammunition. Look at the size of that round. When that's fully loaded, it weighs 40 pounds, just the pan magazine. Whoa. It is tremendously unique, and I have never seen one fire. Who's first? All righty. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Right on target. This thing is absolutely great. This gun is awesome. I mean, really, it's that cool. It looks really, really steampunk. It looks really neat. It looks really weird. It's a great showpiece. So what's your best price on this thing? I'm asking 30000 Okay, he just said they go for right around 27000 Okay. And it takes a tremendous amount of real estate on my showroom floor. I'll give you 18 grand for it. I can't do 18 grand. How about 26? 20,000 is the most I can do. It's the most I can pay and still makes sense, plain and simple. I can do 20,000. All right, sweet. I am like a kid in a candy store. This is like one of the coolest guns I've ever bought in my life. I just got to test it a few more times. <laughs> I could do this all day long. Yeah. I think you're out of ammo. Aw, oh, crap. <laughs> 